Greetings from Bridgeford Prescott. You know, as we continue to uh, navigate uh, the new normal and, and, and move through the, the world crisis because of COVID-19 and actually begin to see some great light at the end of the tunnel, uh, we are delighted to reach out to our friends uh, across the country and around the world uh, through our digital media efforts uh, to say hello, uh, to wish you well, uh, to tell you all that you've been in our thoughts and in our prayers uh, from the very beginning. Uh, and frankly, that we just missed the opportunity to see you at conferences uh, and in our meetings in Miami and New York and across the country and, and around the world. There's no question 2020 has been a very difficult year. And as we begin to see light at the end of this dark tunnel for not only our country, uh, but around the world, we at Bridgeford are optimistic. We have rolled up our sleeves and we have focused on maintaining uh, the strength and stability of Bridgeford. And we are very excited to share um, that as we entered in the crisis, Bridgeford seamlessly was able to uh, transition its workforce to work from home, <laughs> thanks to some tremendous uh, technological capability that we have, uh, literally not missing a beat with respect to client service. Uh, we did not have to let a single employee go. Uh, we did not have to uh, reduce compensation. Um, Bridgeford's digital media campaign uh, flourished and really positioned uh, Bridgeford as a thought leader around the country and really across the world as evidenced by the amount of people who reached out to Bridgeford uh, throughout, throughout the crisis. From a capital position and a financial strength position, uh, Bridgeford uh, is, is remarkably strong and extremely optimistic about the future of its, of its operations um, and our ability to continue our office expansion across the country. Um, as so many of you know and supported, we had a very successful launch of our Miami office uh, right at the beginning of the, of the crisis. Uh, our plans are to, as we move into the fall, uh, to open our offices in New York City, launch them, and in, in Southern California. And South Dakota remains incredibly strong coming through the crisis. Uh, it entered the crisis uh, unequivocally, the strongest jurisdiction uh, from a fiscal soundness perspective, uh, and more information is available on our website uh, in terms of the factors that led to the conclusion that South Dakota was the strongest then and will emerge as the strongest state. Just like you and just like Bridgeford, South Dakota worked hard rolled up its sleeves and adjusted to a new normal. And just today, we learned that uh, even despite the pandemic and the extreme economic pressures facing the country and the world, South Dakota received a AAA rating from Moody's, which is the first rating coming out of the COVID crisis and is something that the state and, of course, Bridgeford is very proud of.